Hello everybody, my name is Bruce Doran. I'm one of the staff scientists that works here on the third floor at Science North. And spring is here, finally. And as the weather warms up, we're gonna start hearing certain animals, certain calls of animals. And one of the ones I find really fascinating are the frogs and the toads. And we're gonna start hearing them really, really soon all these different species calling out. And a lot of times people ask me, you know, why are they calling out? And, and I hear different types of calls. And what we're gonna do today is really discover the different species of frogs and toads that we have here in Ontario and really get you to learn about these different calls. Now, keep in mind that when the frog or a toad calls, first of all, it's a male. It's a daddy toad or a daddy frog that calls and he is calling to attract females. And females are attracted to males of their own species and they will be attracted to males that either call the loudest or the most frequent or, or attracted to where the male is found, its location. And this will help the female gauge which male she wants to uh, uh, reproduce with, mate with, and also determine which male is actually a male of its own species. So what we're gonna to do today is really look at some of the frogs that we have here at Science North, and you guys will get a chance to hear the frog calls. I don't think the frogs will call, but we're gonna add audio clips, and by the end of this, you guys will become experts on frogs. So next time when you go outside and you hear these different calls, you'll know which frog or toad species is calling. All right, so the first species that we usually hear in early spring is this one. This is actually called a wood frog. And wood frog males, when they usually call out, they usually call out at the end of March, beginning of April, once the snow starts to melt, they actually sound like quacking ducks. They sound like this. These frogs are actually found in our woodlots, in forested areas. They usually will reproduce in these temporary pools that you'll see in the spring and then dry up. And they're very easy to recognize because these frogs have a black mask right underneath their eye. The next species we generally hear in our area is the, one of the smallest frog species that we have in Ontario, the spring peeper. Now, I actually don't have a spring peeper here in Ontario. I have a model of one. And spring peepers, you will find it more in bushy or shrubby areas, and they sound as if they're saying peep, 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 peep. They sound like this. Spring peepers are found in sh shrubby or grassy areas, and males will be found on the tips of the branches or on the tips of the uh, grasses where they will sing to attract females. Spring peepers, which is really interesting, they're one of the smallest frog species in Ontario, but they produce some of the loudest sounds when we compare to other frog species. They're actually very easy to recognize because they have an X pattern on their back. Another species that calls pretty early in the spring is actually this one that a lot of people recognize. It's called a leopard frog. And leopard frogs, when the males call, they actually make two types of call. One is a call that sounds like somebody snoring, and the other sounds like somebody has wet hands rubbing a balloon. It sounds a bit like this. Leopard frogs are found mainly in wetlands or in ponds and they will start calling once the ice starts to really thaw out, there's hardly any, any ice left on a wetland or in a pond. In fact, I've actually heard them call while there's even some, uh, a bit of ice. These frogs are actually very common, they're the ones that most people will recognize and they like to go on land quite often, especially in the summertime, looking and hunting for insects and slugs and also earthworms. And because of that, they sometimes have another common name, the grass frog. The species we tend to hear more in late spring, early summer, or sometimes midsummer is this one. It's actually called a gray tree frog. And gray tree frogs generally only call at night. And they actually sound a bit like a bird call. And a lot of times people tell me, wow, I heard it's bird call at night. It's actually not them. It's actually the gray tree frog. And they sound like this.
Gray tree frogs are very, very neat because they have these sticky toe pads that allow it to climb trees. And not only that, they can actually change color to match that of the color of the trees. So these frogs are actually quite difficult to see. And a lot of times, people will hear them, but not be able to see them. The species is actually called a green frog. And green frogs only call out or sing Generally in the summertime when it gets really, really warm, especially warm summer nights. Green frogs are actually very easy to recognize by the name. They're green. And they also have what is called a dorsal lateral fold on their side, which really distinguishes them between them and bullfrogs. Green frogs sound like somebody strumming the string of a banjo and people will recognize these very very easily especially in local wetlands and uh, marshes so they actually sound like this So to find a green frog, you need to find an area that is usually flooded all the time, a pond or a wetland, and they will hang out there. And sometimes you will hear them call till almost the end of July. This frog species, as you can tell, is one of the biggest frog species that we have in Ontario. It's called the bullfrog. And when bullfrogs call, they sound as if somebody's saying jugarum, 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 jugarum. They sound like this. Bullfrogs call in the summertime, usually at night and warm uh, evenings, and they will call quite loudly to the point that you can't get any sleep in. Uh, bullfrogs are the biggest frog species that we have in Ontario, and they will eat anything smaller than themselves, including other frogs and sometimes even baby birds. This frog is called a mink frog, and it's not a species that lots of people recognize or hear. It's frogs that we found more in northern part of our country, so we will find them in the Sudbury area. And when the males call, they sound like somebody hammering or horses galloping in the distance. They sound a bit like this. These frogs like to reproduce in cool water, so they will call more in the month of June, May and June in northern areas, and they're recognized by their very splotchy or blotchy pattern on their back. This last species is actually not a frog, it's a toad. It's called an American toad. And just to give you an idea, toads tend to have more bumpy skin, and also toads don't have teeth. Frogs actually have teeth on their upper jaw, so that's how we can tell the difference between a toad and a frog. The American toads generally call in May and June, and they'll call on evenings about 14 degrees Celsius, and their call sounds like a very long trill, almost 30 seconds long. It sounds like this. These toads can be found in woodlots. Sometimes people will find them in their backyards. And people really like toads having them in their backyards, especially in their gardens, because they'll eat insects and slugs that might be eating plants of their garden. So these are usually animals that gardeners love to see. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick introduction on the frog and toad species that we have here in Ontario. And that's just a small sample of all the different species that we have in Ontario. If you want to learn more about these frogs and the calls, come and visit us here at Science North in the Wetlands Lab. And I'd be more than happy to show you more interesting facts about these incredible animals.